Investigation into sexual misconduct accusations against former Wayne State University Journalism Department head Jack Lessenberry has come to an end. Wayne State University asked Tara Mahoney, a private attorney specializing in the area, to investigate the allegations made against Lessenberry. Mahoney came to the conclusion that Lesson Lessenberry did act inappropriately towards students. He resigned from the university while the investigation was ongoing. Wayne State put out a statement earlier today saying in part, quote, based upon Ms. Mahoney's factual findings, she reached the conclusion that Mr. Lessenberry's actions violated Wayne State University's non-discrimination and sexual harassment policies. Wayne State accepts her findings. You can read the entire statement. We have it posted on our website at clickondetroit.com. Michigan's youngest state representative is accused of driving with open intoxicants in his car. Representative Jewel Jones was pulled over in May for speeding, window tint, and an obstructed license plate. Police say that Jones and his passengers were sober and showed no signs of drinking. However, there were open intoxicants in the vehicle. Today, he was charged with a misdemeanor of driving with open intoxicants, which carries a maximum penalty of 93 days in jail and a $500 fine. He will be arraigned on August 24th. Waterford Township Police are asking for your help identifying a man involved in an armed robbery at a 7-Eleven store. It happened on July 13th at the 7-Eleven store on Scott Lake Road. Police say that the man walked in, pointed a gun at the clerk, and demanded the clerk open up the register and put money into a brown bag. The clerk complied and the man took off on foot. The suspect is described as a white male with blue eyes. He was wearing a green hooded sweatshirt, dark pants, gloves, and a white mask at the time. Time. But if you think that you can identify him, you can call the Waterford Township Police.